Hey family. What is up? What is up family? I am so excited to chat with you today. So I want you to join me. The vulnerability challenge, the vulnerability challenge. So I woke up this morning and I was feeling really discouraged that, um, that in this group, the, I can feel there's a deep, deep resistance to sharing, to sharing our most vulnerable emotions, our heartbreak, our the sides of ourself that we don't always love. That we don't always love. And I woke up and I was like, fuck! Because this is the type of work I do. This is the type, this is where people need to go to heal. That they, in order to heal, they need to show the sides of themselves that were forever being, being judged, being put down, being shushed as a kid. You know, those sides of ourselves where we don't know what, we have no fucking clue what we're doing. Those sides of ourself where we fail again for the third marriage in a row. You know, um, and I should have made this video looking like a piece of shit just to point out my message. Okay, because this, this, this is all bullshit. You know, this, the way that I look, looking perfect all the time, it's a whole bunch of shit. Okay, it means nothing. And this is what I am calling you all out in this group. I cannot lead this group alone. I need, and what I'm going to try to create with you is this culture where we start to embrace this vulnerability together, this vulnerability. And if you're on the call, I want you to just type, if you're down for this, if you're down for this challenge, I want you to just type, I'm in, I'm in, um, because it's so important in our healing that if, as, a, as kids, and if you've come from the suck it up generation, if you've come, if you've been bullied, if you've been abused, if you've been all these things, there's a tendency, the protection is when we've had this pain, the protection is to hide those sides of ourself because they weren't embraced. They weren't celebrated. They weren't, um, you know, especially if, hi, Becky, I love you. Oh my God, you're amazing. Um, Becky is our actually vulnerability <laughs> queen. But this is the problem. As, as children, these sides of ourselves, we didn't even know that these sides were being repressed because a lot of times we were modeled how to behave. You know, if your parents were rigid, then being wild and crazy wasn't acceptable. If, if, you know, if your parents were pragmatic, then being emotional was taboo. If, you know, if your parents were perfectionists, you know, having a shit day and not afraid to share, fuck yes. This is, we need to share our shit days together. I am calling you guys out to share your shitty days because I've been going in the group and it's crickets. And it's okay, but I was like, I need, to, I need to lead this group, but then I need you all to rise up. I need you to step into a place of courage, and I need you to hold space for each other and to love each other back to wellness, okay? The number one way we heal is we start to be those sides of ourselves. We start to be... We start to tell each other, we're having a shitty fucking day. We start to, you know, I need to come on these videos looking like a piece of shit. That's going to be my homework. So next video, I'm going to come on here. 
I'm gonna show you what I really look like in the morning, <laughs> okay? <laughs> Just, you know, how, how I look when I step out of bed. But we need to start, you know, showing those sides of ourselves that we've been taught by social media, by our family, by all these places um, that are not okay. And, the, and that's why if you are one of these people, when you get sad, if you cry alone and you, you isolate and you don't want to be a burden on people, this challenge is for you. This challenge is for you because what that tells me is that, you know, you can only hang out with people when you're totally okay. You can only hang out with people when you're in a really positive fucking mood, which is so annoying. And I get so many clients like that and tell me if this is you, can you guys give me an amen? I want to hear an amen, whoever's on this call. And I am going to ask you guys to start participating more than you've ever participated because I can't do this alone. If you guys want to create the kind of confidence that you came into this group to, to, to create, to be called to, you have to start stepping up and doing the things that you're scared of, doing the things that you're scared of. So the only way to heal is to start moving into those spaces of yourself that you have denied. You have said, like, this is the problem with right and wrong in our culture, right and wrong. And for those of you just coming on the call, I'm going to be talking about a vulnerability challenge today where you can win a free session with me and a $600 session and we can start to go in. So stay tuned. In a few minutes, I'm going to mention this challenge. But here it is. When there is, as kids, you're taught good, bad. There's the sides that you are labeled as good and those, those sides of yourself that you have been taught to embrace you, you have taught, oh, if I act like this, then I get love. If I don't, then I get, I'm ignored, that I'm punished, that I'm neglected. It's a disconnection from God. It's a disconnection from your innocence. It's a disconnection from your soul. So it's so important. It's so important to, to look at those sides of yourself. Okay, everybody that has these sides, I want you to write them down. Any side that you have that you dislike, I want you to, I'm calling you to write it down. And that is the very thing that you're going to have to show more of to the world. So if it's being emotional, if it's being, hi Dora, I love you so much. You are amazing. I love you too. I'm so happy to have you guys here. Um, yeah, it's this I found the best work that I found in my life was shadow work. Shadow work changed my life because I remember my coach saying to me, and I was super emotional, never wanted to show my emotions to anyone else. And this is the thing in the group. I've heard a lot of crickets lately in the group and I'm calling you out guys to introduce yourselves to the group and to share your stories and to share your pain. Because I was like you, I did not show my emotional side to people. And um, my coach said to me, Susie, how long have you been emotional for? And I said, fuck, all my life. And she said, so you're emotional. So you're emotional. I kept trying to fix this side away, to, to fix that emotional side. I, I hear this so often. It's like, how can I prevent the past from coming up? How can I prevent this anxiety, the pain? That is you. You are a human being. You're never going to be without pain or without anxiety or without emotions. Emotions are the doorway are the doorway to connection, to, to becoming the soulmate to yourself. They're the doorway to vulnerability. Vulnerability creates partnerships. Vulnerability to creates relationships. 
I want you guys to comment below, who's, whoever's on the call, what are some moments in your life with, you know, with relationships that felt the most connected? I want you to drop a comment in the comment box. I want you to share. What are those moments in your life with either friends, family, partnerships where you just, it was, you felt either completely seen, completely loved, completely connected. I want you to drop a comment. I want you to just take a moment and think about that. About, about those moments that just stand out in your life as so inspiring that you'll always remember those moments. What is that? If you know, share. And I know for me, there are certain times in my life that really stood out, that were so impactful. And I'm going to tell you, it wasn't when I was being this ideal self and I look like this and I, you know, it wasn't when I was being positive or I was just having like fucking talking about the weather, okay? Some of the biggest times in my mouth, some of them were really positive and some of them were kind of negative and I'm going to share to you there was one when I was a drinker and I remember my mom got was just at the end of her rope and she I was in the kitchen kitchen with her and she she took me and she almost grabbed me by the neck almost my mom's not a violent person and she just started to shake me but it was so raw and real and she started to like want she's like she almost, she's like, I, I just want you dead. It sounds crazy, but she was like, she was so angry. She was like, I want you dead because I cannot take this suffering anymore. I cannot take seeing you suffer anymore in my life. I cannot take it for a fucking instant. I cannot take the pain of this addiction. And it was so real and it was so raw. And she had, I, I had never seen my mother's pain like that. That it totally inspired me to change. That it was, after that, it was like I started to be like, I started to recognize the impact I was having on people. But she had never said it to me. Like with that rawness, with that vulnerability, that in that moment, I got it. It's like all the time in our life, we try to have it all together. We try to like act like everything's okay when we're fucking hurting inside. Everyone coming in this group, I see that. I see that there's everyone hurting, but I, I don't see anyone reaching out. And that's the issue. It's like we have to show our, that those moments, those moments are the most changing, um, inspiring moments in our life. It's like if my son, one time I was yelling at my son and my son said to me, stop yelling at me, mommy. And he said it with such emotion and such sadness. I was like, I instantly just self correct I was like, I got it. I got it. And it's so important to speak to ourselves, to, to show that side. What does Dora say? I think it's when I was with someone or people I felt safe with. And, and you're so right, Dora. Like, this is what we have to do. And I am calling you guys out. I am calling you out to, to, to not just, this group is not just about yourself. This group is about a sisterhood. It's about a brotherhood. It's about holding space for each other. It's about creating a safe, safe, safe space for people to express their most vulnerable selves. Their most vulnerable selves. And to love those things, to create non-judgment and compassion and be maybe the first person that might have allowed or acknowledged or accepted that emotion in that person. 
People think, oh, one person can't make a difference. One person can make a difference. It starts with one person. You can change someone's life with one comment, with one just holding space, with just listening. And so this is what I am calling you guys to step into, okay? I love you guys. You are amazing. And, and here is the thing with true confidence, okay? True confidence. Confidence is not just being confident. Confidence is about being confident sometimes and even recognizing when you're not confident and being okay with it. Confidence is being able to show, to love your worst, to show those sides of yourself that you're like, ooh, that's scary. I don't want to show it. I don't want to show this side. I don't want to admit to anyone. I don't want to tell people my secrets. You know, I don't want to, like, I can't be angry. You know, true confidence is allowing your jealousy, allowing your anger, allowing, you know, letting yourself wear no makeup sometimes, embracing your succulent, juicy, extra cushion for the pushing self. That is true confidence. I want you guys, for whoever's on this call and this vulnerability challenge, okay, this week, for anyone that's just stepping on, I'm, I'm throwing a vulnerability challenge in this group because we need to rise up in this group. I just feel so strongly that we need to start expressing ourselves. So whoever wins this challenge, and there's gonna, gonna give you a task to do, is whoever wins this challenge is gonna get a free session with me. And then I am gonna actually hold, later on, a couple weeks from now, I'm gonna to start to build, I'm gonna hold a whole five day training, free training um, workshop. And whoever, participates the most and rises up and steps up is going to win a free program with me five thousand dollars worth okay so i just need to call you guys out and get you guys motivated and inspired okay so here's the thing so for i want i want to first of all hear before i say this challenge i want you guys to comment put a comment what are the sides of yourself that you judge what are some of the sides of yourself? Comment right now in the, in the comment box. What are some sides of yourself that you tend to hide, omit, repress, ignore? What would that be for you? What are those sides? Becky, Dora, what do you guys not want to be like? And how you know is you'll tend to shame those sides. So you might say, I should know better, I should do better, I shouldn't be so emotional, I shouldn't be feeling this way, I shouldn't get jealous, you know. So for anyone on the call, what is it for you? What do you judge about yourself? I should eat healthier, <laughs> right? What is it for you? I know even for me, even coming on these calls, I think I always need to look presentable because as like the CEO, I always think I need to look. And so my, I'm gonna tell you one of my things that I'm gonna rise up to is I'm, I'm gonna embrace looking, <laughs> you know, looking messy and just being natural. And I'm gonna call you, I'm gonna do a video when I just get out of bed, just to work on this, because that's a side of myself that when it comes to social media specifically, I can do it at home, but when it comes to social media, I tend to always wanna look, look great. So Dora says, I can hide when I don't like things out of fear or what others would say, emotions, lack, and envy. Yes, out of fear of what other people would say. That's it. So it's identifying the biggest. So for anyone scared of what other people would say, you want to, whatever they would say about you, that's what you usually judge for yourself. So 
if it's being emotional, if it's being envy. So write down, like Dora, make, write down everything that you're scared of them saying. You know, why don't you have a partner? <laughs> you know, um, you know, oh, you, I can't believe you'd wear that, you know, or whatever it is. So it might be being unattractive, not looking, whatever. These are the sides of yourself that you are going to want to show. Okay? So, um, okay. So here, yeah, exactly. So it's like, and here's, here's the process. And, I, and then we're going to go through a little training. But here's the process. It's the first place to start when you're, you're developing and building and cultivating confidence is showing those sides with yourself. Okay, showing those sides with yourself. So like if you if it's emotional, it's like starting to let yourself be emotional, like be sad. Hi, Jennifer. I love you. So good to have you here. Like how much of a fucking cry baby can you be today? You know, like it's letting yourself um, even like with anger, I find people coming into my program, they a lot of them don't have anger and I say don't don't just wait it's gonna come like so they're, they're like oh I don't get angry anyone that doesn't get angry is the angriest person probably out there I'm telling you <laughs> because their anger has been repressed okay so the first place to start is with yourself start screaming around the house crying start you know allowing that emotion to come up the second place, the ultimate test, and this is why it's so hard to do this in this group, and this is why I'm going to, I'm first going to create this first challenge with you, okay? The first place to start, the hardest place, is in a group. Because that's the ultimate fear, that that emotion or quality or characteristic of, your, or of yourself was disapproved of was ignored, was put down or abused or criticized or all of the above. That is why even in my program, I have individual sessions and then I have group sessions. The group sessions, they're the ultimate test. Can you be vulnerable? And I say to a lot of people, expect disappointment expect disappointment maybe not in this group because this is a loving space but people it's not about them it's about not abandoning yourself okay every time you hide these aspects the dark side of yourself the cheating self the, the selfish self the lazy self every time you hide it and pretend to be someone you're not you abandon yourself okay you abandon yourself and and that's why you drink a bottle of wine every night. It's like, and then you shame yourself for drinking the bottle of wine. <laughs> that's the joke. That's the craziness. It's like that wine was actually the only thing that was actually giving you comfort. And you still, okay, so I'm going to read what Becky says, and then I'm going to go on to this challenge. So in terms of connection, remember having this connecting moment with my family when my brother died and we just allowed that grief to come out one night. It was spontaneous. We went to the river at night and lit candles and we hugged and cried. And for a moment, we let it out. I know everyone still felt super awkward again the next day. But in that moment, we could just let it out. It didn't matter at the time. It felt raw and real. I wish we could be real like that all the time. See, even that, even that sharing just touched me. And so, okay, this is what I'm talking about. This, this is why when you're in a relationship with somebody for 20 years, you can still not feel connected. This is why you could have a great house, a great car, um, kids, a husband, and still feel alone because there's no connection to yourself, to this vulnerable self. So here's the challenge. I love you guys. I want you to post in the group, 
I want you to introduce yourself and I want you to, to post, share your story, share whatever it is you're going through. And it could be negative aspects and it could be positive aspects, but I want you to not just be this side of yourself that is just everything is hunky dory if it's not. I want you to be your most real authentic self and I want you to share why you're here, what your, what your story is and, and what you're struggling with. And I want you to put two or three pictures of yourself in that post. It could be pictures of you in a good space. It could be pictures of you in a not good space. It could be pictures of you overcoming something or having overcome whatever you feel inspired to share. And, and you can just put hashtag vulnerability challenge. Okay, so hashtag vulnerability challenge. And I want you to just post something to rise up. Okay, and be there, be there for other people, hold space, hold space in the way that you would want someone to hold space for you. So I love you guys. Um, I may put a picture up of my totally worst self and like, <laughs> like totally, maybe with like looking like the crow with, with like eyeshadow and like mascara all over my face. That's going to be my, my thing. And um, I love you guys. Who's in on the challenge? I want to see if anyone's in. I want you to put hashtag, hashtag um, vulnerability challenge in the comments below. If you're in, I want you to put that in. Hashtag vulnerability challenge. And I am going to do a whole bunch of challenges this week coming up to allow people to rise up. And then for anyone new on the call, I'm going to be doing a five-day free training for you guys to help you with emotional mastery, help, help you with radical self-acceptance and truly coming home to yourself for the first time. I love you guys. You are amazing. I love all of you. I love the fucked up side of you. I like the emotional side of you. I like the angry side of you. I like it all. Please do not hide it from me. Stop robbing me of connection with you. Stop stealing away. Stop robbing yourself of connection with all the people in your life. Stop being so fucking selfish. <laughs> I love you guys. You're amazing. You're so selfish. <laughs> oh, I love you, Jennifer. Missed some of this, so I'm not sure what I'm signing up for as long as I don't need to hide to hide a body I'm in. No, this is about showing your juicy succulent, succulent body. Yeah, Dora, you're, Dora says I'm in. That's amazing. Jennifer, you're not signing up for anything. All you're doing for anyone on the call, um, for anyone on the call, this is just, it's, it's your chance to read, um, to get a free session, but it's, it's, it's really um, introducing yourself to the group, sharing your most, wherever you're at, your most real authentic story and what you're struggling with and whatever that looks like for you and posting, posting pictures of yourself. It could be one, it could be two, three, four, I don't care. And just writing hashtag vulnerability challenge. I'm gonna be calling people to do it over the next couple of weeks. We're gonna get some momentum going in this group. It re I really feel like I need to lead people to that and just call people out. I love you guys. You are amazing. Bye, Dora. Bye, Becky. Bye, Jennifer. I will talk to you guys all soon. Enjoy your week. Be fucked up. How fucked up can you be this week? How emotional. <laughs> love you all. <laughs>